Harry Kane asked to leave Tottenham. Harry Kane, Harry Kane, England captain, Spurs captain. Most likely the guy that will break the record of Alan Shearer has asked to leave Spurs. This is breaking news. This warrants a second video of the day. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Kafka guys. You guys, this is big news. This is massive news. This is the news that everyone's been waiting for. Look, everyone's been saying Vardy has had a better legacy than, J uh, than Harry Kane. And guess what? It's, it's coming true. Harry Kane's heard everyone's murmurs. Harry Kane heard everyone's statuses. Harry Kane has asked to leave Spurs. This is reported by numerous sources. This is real, but... Can Chelsea actually sign him? We know that Manchester City, Chelsea, and United have thrown their hat in the ring. We will talk about all of this in this video. I cannot believe this. And I will tell you the likelihood of this happening. I'm not gonna lie, this is exciting. But before we get started, I need a big favor from all of you. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, because then most likely this is gonna be a bunch of new people watching. So we cover everything on this channel. Transfer rumors, previews, match reviews, and yeah, you know what you know you want to. Come on, just subscribe to the channel. And in the comments below, let me know. What's the chance? What would you rate this chance of us getting Harry Kane? Like, how much would you pay? So basically, Harry Kane has been at Spurs his whole career. Harry Kane went on loan a few times, banged a couple goals, couple, yeah, a lot of goals. And all of a sudden, it is reported now that he's had enough. He's had it up to here. Not even Jose Mourinho could take him to start winning trophies. I don't know whether J.B. Vardy was winning another trophy with the final nail in the coffin, but Harry Kane has told Spurs that he's had enough and he wants to leave this summer. So, Sky Sports is reporting that Chelsea, Manchester United and Manchester City have all contacted the representatives of Harry Kane and are actively saying we will pay whatever it takes to get this player. This is exciting stuff that we all need to get behind ASAP. Realistically speaking, this is massive. This is enormous news because of the fear factor of he is a Robin Van Persie type, type of striker. When Robin Van Persie left Arsenal and joined uh, Manchester United, boom, title winning striker. Literally, it was the difference in the title race. And this time around, I think Kane is exactly of that magnitude. Kane fixes a lot of the problems Chelsea have at this moment in time. Can you just imagine? Can you imagine Chelsea in a 4-2-3-1 with Harry Kane at the spearhead? In behind, you have a Kai Havertz spreading in the passes in that Deli Alli, Deli Alli role. Deli Alli, Deli Alli, Deli Alli role. Then you have on the right-hand side, Christian Pulisic. On the right-hand side, you have Timo Werner, Mason Mount. Whatever you want, sprinting down that wing, providing the width, getting in behind Harry Kane, who is a creator and a goal scorer. This would be an outstanding signing. But I hate to be the one that reigns on our parade. Let me hit us with an ounce of realism. Calvin, Calvin Kevin Phillips, whatever his name is, this journalist is very reputable and you, we always hear stories coming out from him. And he's openly stating that Harry Kane is tempted by the Manchester clubs. Chelsea's not the club that he's excited by. He wants to go to one of the Manchester clubs. And for me, this makes an awful lot of sense. One, Manchester City are a powerhouse. At this moment in time, Manchester City is the place you go to to guarantee trophies. Why would Harry Kane be leaving? Harry Kane is leaving to guarantee trophies. He doesn't want to waste around and lose more. Imagine he makes a 120 million pound move, 150 million pound move, because that's what it would take, right? And he doesn't win trophies. It makes no sense. Manchester United, heritage. Football heritage at its finest. Manchester United have got great players that have played for that club, from Ronaldo to Roy Keane to Paul Scholes to Van Persie to Rooney. And we can continue that list of players that have played and been successful and become legends at that club. Harry Kane can go there, bring them back a Premier League title that they have been missing for eight years, and almost write himself into English history books. It will be remembered. Look at what happened to Van Persie. Van Persie had a one great season at Manchester United. One great season and his whole tenure in English football from an injury prone player who was underachieving at Arsenal is going to be remembered as a player that has overachieved now, in my opinion, when people look back. They look back at him and go, wow, this guy really had a great successful career. Technically, he was fantastic, but he can never be fit. And all of a sudden, he can go there and he can reunite his career. Harry Kane can reignite his career in another aspect apart from scoring goals. At this moment in time, his career has one element in it. 
Can I break Shearer's record? That's not acceptable, bro. You should be doing more. Even if Chelsea, in my opinion, bid the money and are paying more money, I don't see Chelsea signing the player. And it's so annoying to see. The harsh truth of it is Spurs won't sell to us. If, I don't remember if you guys know about the Luka Modric saga. The Luka Modric saga was killing me. I was young and this was, I don't know, this is a year before Luka Modric joined Real Madrid. Luka Modric was due to join Chelsea. Luka Modric almost went on strike to join Chelsea. It was a 40 million pound bid that was rejected at that moment in time. Then it was 30 million pounds. It was literally a saga. Papers were saying 40, 30, 35, that saga. And the deal never happened. Why? Because Daniel Levy said, big man, you're paying over the odds. You're Chelsea, you pay an extra 20 million. They did not want to sell to us under no circumstances. Chelsea and Spurs do not do business together. This is a fact. It's not me making this up. This is not nonsense, guys. I will not be sitting here and lying to you saying this could happen. I'm telling you right now, Spurs sold Modric for cheaper 12 months later, just to ensure Chelsea can't get their hands on him to Real Madrid. Like Chelsea were actively trying to get this player, paid what Levy asked for, and he said, no, you're not getting him. Like, we don't do business together. Uh, name one player that we both clubs here yeah, have sold to each other. I'll be waiting, because you'll be here all day. It's very, 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 very rare. But realistically speaking, this saga isn't over. There are, have been reports that have come out, like I said, from Sky Sports saying that he's asked to leave. Whether he's going to demand to leave and put his foot down is another question for me. He has an awful lot of respect for this club. He loves his club Spurs. And you know what? Spurs have given him a tremendous opportunity. He loves the fans. He loves most probably the project that they've been on. But Spurs have been on a decline for a long time now. Especially when Maurizio Pochettino left, they experimented with Jose Mourinho, they sacked Jose Mourinho, and for me that was the final nail in the coffin. The fact that you sack a manager just because if he wins a cup, he can have bargaining power. That just tells me everything you need to know about that club and it could have been the last straw. But you need to remember Kane's got a big contract at Spurs and he gets paid an awful lot of money. If Daniel doesn't want to sell him, it'll be very difficult to get him out. Realistically speaking, I think it'll cost around about 150 pounds. Million pounds, 150. It'll cost around about 150 million because that is what he's worth in my opinion. He's a guy that's guaranteed 20 goals and 20 assists if he's playing for the 30, 35 games a season. He is that good. He is a phenomenal creator. He's a phenomenal striker. And most importantly, he's a phenomenal leader. He leads by example, and that's very hard to find these days. But guys, this is a massive story, and there's going to be breaking news for this for days to come. So I'm most probably going to be feeding you guys all the information you need to know about this. Whether Chelsea sign him or not, I think is highly unlikely. I wouldn't put my neck on the line and say this is going to happen. But if Chelsea can, they need to do whatever it takes to sign him. He is 27 years old. He looks like a granddad, but he doesn't play like one. He is phenomenal. He is Lewandowski style player, but he is that caliber. Kareem Benzema, that level of striker. They don't grow on trees. Capitalize when we can get him. Because if Man City get him, Man United get him, say bye-bye to the league title. It ain't happening anytime soon. I promise you that. But like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I hope you all enjoyed it. I am delivering the video as we speak right now. Let me start editing. Let's get into it. Come on, Chelsea, sign him.